long-term side effects associated with ovarian cancer treatment, um, most often I hear from women is that um, essentially they're postmenopausal, right? So you've had this debulking surgery most often um, to rid your body of ovarian cancer. And so you're dealing with things um, maybe at a younger age that women who are considered senior citizens are dealing with. Um, so that can be osteoporosis, it can be pain. Um, neuropathy is a, um, something that I've experienced and a lot of patients that I work with experience. Um, so that's really just like tingling in um, your fingers and your feet. Uh, a lot of times it's harder to kind of get going in the morning. Um, I noticed that, that uh, it takes me a little bit. I'm a little achy. Um, I, I will say I am, um, <laughs> how far am I out of treatment? <laughs> I finished chemo in April, 2014. So, um, I'm just over two years out of treatment. Um, and so my neuropathy has gotten better. Um, getting out of bed in the morning has gotten better. Uh, but it's still something that I notice and I struggle with. Um, but I, feel it's better than the alternative, right? Um, I'm, I'm living a very full life right now. Um, so I'm very grateful almost for that pain um, that I experienced. But um, again, most often I hear from women is that it's, it's that the pain word uh, that they deal with. Because uh, it, it can really, chemo is really hard on your joints. It's really hard on your bones. And um, so there's achiness associated with that. Um, I, you know, would say that maybe my stamina isn't as great as it used to be, but I try to supplement that with eating healthy and working out and, um, trying to really listen to my body and resting when I need to rest. So, um, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is, is the neuropathy, the achiness, the pain, um, in because it, it can cause uh, some brittleness to your bones. Um, and again, that could be the chemotherapy or that could be um, associated with being postmenopausal um, as a woman. So um, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, I hear a lot of patients report, um, people have heard the term chemo brain. Um, I believe that's a really real thing. It's something that I personally experienced. Um, and most often that manifests in just not being able to think of a word. Uh, I will know the word, I'll be on the tip of my tongue, I'll want to say it, but I just like can't think of what is that word. And so again, I supplement that by trying to read a lot. Um, and I, I think that's helped me a lot uh, in, in just kind of being cognizant of it. Um, I, I do take a, a supplement uh, for brain health, for brain support. Um, I, that is blanking on me. I'm gonna have to do a yes on this and go get my supplement and tell you what that is. <laughs> um, yes, so I do take a supplement for brain health, for brain support, um, Tumorac, uh, CQ10, that seems to have really helped me um, with my recall and words. And again, I think reading and just working your brain um, and your mind helps. And, and it gets better as the chemo, you know, leaves your body. Uh, it, it helps, right? And, and then it, it gets better.